How the fuck are ya, cool cats and kittens? Galactic Criminal here, got myself a crisp new dome cover, a much needed beard trimming, and now I am very much prepared for some Brazilian metalcore. I actually checked these guys out before, back in October of 2018, almost two years ago, but if I recall correctly, that stuff was pretty damn good. They contacted me recently, said they got a brand new track out, and they'd like me to take a listen. So let's do exactly that. See what these guys have been cooking up over the last couple of years. Raising conviction. Enemies ahead. One, two. You all already got it. Certainly, you certainly know the way to the criminal's heart. The Taka Taka. Man, that was thrashier than fuck, man. 
I have thoughts. I mean, you know I love that dude. That was so thrashy. I mean, it's been a while since I've checked out a Metalcore Deathcore track that was that thrashy with the tack attack of that rhythm. I just cannot help if you haven't been with the channel for very long. If you got me with a song like that, you're <laughs> it's almost never gonna miss. Honestly, at, at some points in this, they reminded me of also Brazilian Counterparts Project 46 in a lot of moments in this track. I mean, like, their influences here in the description saying they're like thrash metal, death metal, death core, metal core, new metal, you know, man, like all those influences, I feel we're definitely here in the vocals and the guitars and the drums, feeling very much like a like a thrash metal slash death metal style of like drum and guitar work in this thing too, but also kind of blending in some, some metal core elements as well in the vocals and a little bit in the guitar at the same time. And I can already see what people are going to say in the comments is why the cleans? And to be honest, when I first heard, when the, when the cleans first popped in, I also was thinking, but why though? But why though? I mean, the whole track up until that point was not that song. This, like, this is not that song. What, what's going on here? This was like straight up hardcore thrash, man. And I'm, I'm vibing. Where is this, this clean coming from? But then, as it started rolling on, I started to enjoy the melody they were going for there, and then leading into just like this, this nasty drop, just which one I feel was awesome. The two I feel was a little bit ill-timed between like the end of the clean and that just that fucking breakdown kind of deal. I feel like there was a, like a couple of steps too long before that hit, but it was still a really cool moment and kind of led into another one of those those like clean chorus bits there. It's just there was nothing really early on in the track that gave me any sort of indication that there was going to be that, that melody later on. It was just straight up balls out, even just from the, the drums off the top of this thing. You know, this is a thrash track. And then that came in, and it's still like... By the time the second chorus hit, I started to kind of just like set my mind at ease a bit about that because the scene like I've been talking about for a while is progressing more and more and more and like things are being, different things are being done that aren't necessarily the norm, you know? So like you gotta kind of get out of your own head a little bit, get out of the box a little bit and see what they're trying to do here, seeing if they're, if they're trying to experiment in a certain way. And then after thinking about it that way and by the end of the song, I thought, you know what, no. Uh, you know what? No, I, I actually I actually think it was smart what they did there. I liked it. I liked the, the, the thrash element to the beginning of this thing, giving just a chaotic feel. But then starting to go into a more melodic idea toward the end of it. I thought that was pretty cool. Something that I feel like that could have been, like I said, it could have been set up a little bit better in the beginning of the song. That, you know, that moment coming. Because like I've said before, you can, you can kind of feel in like metalcore or something like that. Or maybe not, not, not so much in deathcore, but definitely in like... In, in metalcore, you can feel a song is gonna have like a clean section, and it's gonna have like a melo a melodious feel to it. Like within the first thirty so thirty or so seconds of the song, at least I kind of feel that I can kind of telegraph that thing. And maybe it's a good thing that they kind of threw me off. I don't know. What I'm trying to say, <laughs> what I'm trying to say is, I'm okay with the cleans in this. After like having heard all the way through it to the end of the song, you know, being like the moment kind of like taken out of it. Like what? Wait, what? What are you doing? To like, kind of realizing the, the vision that they were going for here toward more of the end of this thing. I thought, I thought that was pretty good. I thought that was pretty damn good. I thought the clean singing was decent. It could have been, it could have been awful. It started off, I thought, oh no, is it going to be, is it going to be really bad? <laughs> and I thought it was, I thought it was very much, I thought it was very decent. Very decent. The rest of the vocals, however, were fantastic. I thought I loved like the the hardcore style of scream. I love the deep guttural like deathcore style. Nice like like metalcore mids, dude. Definitely a lot of really cool elements happening in this. The guitars and the bass in this, and the uh, fuck, and the drums even uh, and the drums even were beautiful for the most part. The drums were the the taka taka, the, that that formula. But as it kind of rolled on, you can kind of get like a hint of like the fills and stuff that were happening were pretty pretty damn cool. The guitar work was great, and the, and the, and the bass work was, I think, fantastic in this. It's, it's felt like a lot of what they say their influences are. It felt like death metal, it felt like deathcore, and also metalcore. I guess maybe a little bit of new metal in there as well. But for the most part, yeah. I think that was a very healthy blend of a bunch of different styles. Now, with all that said, if they had have taken the cleans out of this, I feel like it would have been a better, straight-up, like, death metal, death... Deathcore style of track, 
for me, completely, to be completely honest, because it did kind of, in a way, feel like out of place there. But I like what they were going for, and I like the experimentation, and I will definitely applaud that. So hey, what did the rest of you guys think of this shit? Do you agree with me? Let me know in the comments below. Of course, there will be a link in the description for this video, so you better watch it for yourself. So screen for audio, we get the full experience. And as always, have yourself a fantastic evening.